Today we have Vivo T3X smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. Let's begin. The first feature is small window. Now you can use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Let me show you how you can use this feature. Simply open any app and then put it in recent and then click on that apps icon. There you will see the option of small window. Click on this. Now this app will open small window. You can continue using your phone as usual. You can resize this as well. You can also put it in pop-up. Simply click on this minimize icon. Now you can use any other app as usual. And whenever you need that small window app, simply click on this. Now you can use two applications in a single screen by using this small window feature. You can show real-time internet speed in status bar without downloading any third-party app. Simply go to your settings, scroll down and there you will see the option of display and brightness. Click on this. Again scroll down and then click on status bar. There you will see the option of real-time network speed. Simply enable this. It will start showing internet speed in your status bar. You can also change battery style and percentage as well. You can show the percentage and you can change from circle to landscape to vertical of that battery icon if you want to change the navigation button or you can adjust or customize them or you can change it to gesture navigation as well simply go to your settings scroll down and there you will see the option of system click on this and then click on system navigation now if you want to change the position of these button you can select as per your liking or if you want to change from 3 button navigation to gesture navigation, simply click on this gesture navigation. So that's how you can change the navigation in this smartphone. The next feature's name is Smart Sidebar. You can use this feature to access your favorite app anywhere and very quickly. To enable sidebar, simply go to your settings, scroll down and there you will see the option of Shortcut and Accessibility. Simply click on this. And there you will see the option of smart smart sidebar click on this and then enable this now simply swipe from your left to that that bar icon and now you can access your favorite apps wherever you want and very efficiently you can also customize this simply click on this arrow button now you can add any app or you can remove any app so that's how you can use this smart sidebar feature to access your favorite apps very quickly the next feature's name is quick access. Now whenever your screen is locked and you will long press the volume down button, it will open the torch. You can set your favorite app or your favorite feature to this uh, volume down long press button. To do that, simply go to your settings and then scroll down. There you will see the option of shortcut and accessibility. Click on this and there you will see the option of quick action. Click on this, enable this. Now it is by default set on turn on or off flashlight. Now select the app whichever you want to set. For example, I use uh, maps a lot. So I will select map here. And now whenever my phone is locked and I will long press that volume down button, it will open the maps. So that's how you can set any app in this quick action feature. You can also dual or clone any app in the smartphone. Simply go to your settings and then scroll down. And there you will see the option of apps. Click on this. Again scroll down and there you will see the option of app clone. Now it will show all the apps which can be cloned. Now select the app whichever you want to clone. Here I want to clone Facebook. It will take few seconds and then it will clone the app. Now you can use two different account in a single smartphone by cloning this uh, Facebook or any social media application. You can also change the sliding effect on the home screen. To change it, simply pinch in on the home screen and then click on this home setting and there you will see the option of sliding effects. Now select the desired effect. Now here I select flip one and then simply go back. Now whenever you will slide, it will show that effect. You can customize this as by well liking. If you don't like this app drawer feature, you can disable this and you can set all your apps in your home screen. To do that, simply pinch in on your home screen and then click on home setting. There you will see the option of home screen style. Now it is by default on drawer. You can change it to standard. Simply click on this. Now whenever 
all your apps will be on your home screen you don't have to open that drawer to access your apps this phone comes with a lot of smart motion feature as well to explore that simply go to the settings and then scroll down there you will see the option of shortcut and accessibility simply click on this and then click on smart motion now firstly you can shake to turn on or off the flash now whenever your phone is locked you just have to turn on the screen and then shake it it will open your flashlight let's explore explore some other smart screen uh, smart motion feature simply click on smart screen on and off if you enable this rise to wait and whenever your phone is locked and whenever you will pick it up it will automatically wake your screen the next smart motion is double tap to wait if you enable this and whenever your phone is locked simply double tap on the screen it will wake your phone the next smart motion feature is keep screen all in while looking if you enable this it will detect whenever you are looking into the front camera or on the screen and it will keep your screen on this is an ai feature you can also enable this the next uh, feature is double tap to turn off if you enable this and whenever you are on home screen you know you will double tap on the home screen it will lock your smartphone the next feature's name is easy touch this feature is very amazing feature and by this feature you can access a lot of apps and features very quickly and efficiently to explore this simply click on settings scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility again scroll down and there you will see the option of easy touch simply click on this and enable easy touch now you will see a little ball icon on the right side of the screen now whenever you will tap on this it will open a lot of features like screenshot calculator screen recording flashlight etc you can also edit this by clicking on easy touch settings now select the app or uh, the feature you want to set it on this icon you can also uh, select any app so whenever you will double tap on this ball it will open that app for example i want to uh, silent the phone whenever i will double tap on this ball then just simply select tap and hold and select sorry double tap and select the feature here i select silent mode and now whenever i will double tap on this it will silent my phone so you can explore this there are a lot of features like hold and slide sideways and uh, you can also adjust the opacity of this ball icon so explore this this is an amazing feature the next feature's name is split screen now you can use two apps at the same time by using two apps in a single screen let me show you how you can do this for example if you are using youtube and now you want to use uh, play store simply use your three fingers and swipe up it will open split screen now select the second app here i select play store now i can use play store and youtube at the same time so you can use this feature the feature's name is split screen you can also turn on blinking the flashlight whenever any call will come to do that simply go to your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility there you will see the option of flash notification click on this and then enable incoming call and then click on turn on so whenever any call will come it will flash uh, it will blink that flashlight and you will get the notification there are multiple ways by which you can click a screenshot in this smartphone the first way is to obviously use your three fingers and swipe down that's how you can click a screenshot if you want to click a long screenshot you can also do that simply go to any article chat or wherever you want to click a long screenshot click a normal screenshot and there you will see the option of long screenshot click on this now scroll to adjust the length of the screenshot then click on save that's how you can click a long screenshot or you can also press volume down and power button at the same time to click a screenshot simply press volume down and power button at the same time and if we click a screenshot in your status bar there is also a way by which you can click a screenshot click on s capture and there are option of a funny screenshot by which you can click a screenshot of a different shape here select shaped screenshot now select the shape and then select the area and then click on save it will click a screenshot of that particular area particular area 
this phone comes with auto call recording feature you don't have to download any third party app and you can record all your calls without that annoying announcement simply go to your dialer and then click on these three dots i don't have sim right now so it is not enabled simply click on call settings and then you will see the option of auto call recording simply enable this and you will be able to record all your calls without any announcement so these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of Vivo T3X smartphone. If you like this video then subscribe to our channel and leave a like of course and we will see you in the next one. Till then have fun and stay tuned.